What a marvelous heritage we have, both as a place and a people. We live in the most beautiful place on earth and enjoy a culture that is second to none. Our history is rich, yet for many, the reality is less than ideal and life is difficult. How can we overcome these challenges and differences together as we move into the future? There is only one way, and it embodies everything we have talked about. It's summed up in one word, Aloha. We've been told it's a greeting and we see the word everywhere, but what does it really mean? And how is it foundational to our future? Aloha. While some would say Aloha has a def definition of a greeting, it's more than just a greeting. It's a way of being, it's a way of life. You can break the word down into two parts, actually multiple parts, but in general, Aloha, to be in the presence of, to be in the face of, to join, to combine with, with the Ha, the breath, the life, the spirit, the essence of one's being, anyone else around you. And so when you say Aloha, Aloha, you're saying to be in the presence of, to join with, the spirit and the essence of the person who is across the table from you, with the place that you're in. It also speaks to the notion of connecting to the creative forces, however you define them, God, nature, the ah in Ijas, the heat energy, to alo, to connect with that and to live in balance with that thing. It also touches on the concept of ponno, that again, that balance. Uh, it's something that talks about and speaks of giving and receiving, not giving and taking. And so if we don't find aloha, oftentimes it's because we didn't bring it with us. It's a notion that the more you put in, the more you receive. Aloha is also about leaving people and places better than when you found them. It's about leaving people whole, leaving a place whole. Aloha is the connection of all things, a presence that is unspeakable, that you can't touch, you can't see, but it comes from the center of your being. And so as you acknowledge that everything has a life around you and it lives and breathes, it has ha, and that ha gives us the ability to interact and be a part of all of creation in all that we do. The ha is the mystery of life. And to be in the presence of the mystery to mean, means to be in a state of wonder. If we could carry ourselves in a perpetual state of wonder, there would be no time for depression, for stress, for boredom. There'd be none of those because we would see significance in everything around us. Perhaps the greatest proponent of aloha was Auntie Pilahi Paki, who was referred to as the keeper of Hawaii's secrets. She believed that aloha was the key to the future of Hawaii and that in the 21st century, a hurting world would come here to seek out answers found through this concept of aloha. She was instrumental in the creation of the Aloha Law passed in 1978 and wrote the Aloha Chant based on her true translation of Aloha. This writing, which describes the essence of Aloha, is taught and practiced as a teaching guide throughout Hawaii today. She passed on this spirit and knowledge to a select group of people, many who are featured in this program. Pilahi shared that aloha, as practiced through her ancestors, was the very essence of life endowed to man in his and her beginning, the very spirit that connects us to the divine and each other. She often shared the aloha chant together with Auntie Lani Kalama, who was her chanter and dear friend. Auntie Lani passed it on to her son, Corbett, who shares it with us. Aloha 
means to, to care for one another, to care for people. This means that I care for my, my land and the, the people that live here, all of the people, Hawaiian and non-Hawaiian, the Malihini, the Kamaina. This means taking care of our elderly. This means taking care of the homeless that, that uh, have started living on our shores. This means, uh, aloha means hope. Aloha means raising our opio and our children to recognize that they're the future leaders and the future caretakers. But this all comes through examples that set forth by us as, as adults, us looking back to our past and asking the question, what did our ancestors actually intend for us and, our, and, the, and the people of, of Hawaii and the world? And what it is, it comes back to aloha. Aloha is so powerful that we can't truly comprehend its significance. It goes beyond culture to the core of each of us, to the essence of who we are as humans and how we relate to everything around us. It embodies all that we have talked about. It is our calling, our kahea. It is kealaula, the dawning and the returning to the proper path. It is living pono. It is about passing down all that we are. It's about our kupuna and our children. And it is taking care of ourselves, each other, and the aina around us. Aloha is a gift we have received and is not realized until we share it with others. Each of us must ask ourselves, do we live in the spirit of aloha? And if not, what effect is that having on the aina and those around us? Living out aloha with the aina and each other is the key to our future. For aloha is spirit and it is life. As Auntie Pilahi often said, Hawaii is aloha and aloha is Hawaii. May the spirit of my ancestors, aloha, embrace you always with affection. These are traits of character that express the spirit and the people of a land known throughout the world in these words of wisdom, intelligence, knowledge, and understanding what the world knows in the word. Aloha. Aloha.